Welcome back to the Dividend Diplomats YouTube channel, guys. You've got Bert, the Hurt Locker, and Lanny, your boys here, the best dividend investing channel here on YouTube. Yeah, I said it. Just bring it. Um, guys, today we are talking about a stock that you could have bought. They are pushing possibly you to buy. That media was like, oh, you have a chance to get it at a discount here. You should get it. You should grab it. But now could even be a better time to buy this stock if you are patient and wanted this stock. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Holler at your boys as we reach the millions and millions of diplomaniacs out there. So let's talk about a, a stock. This is not the first time this company has been featured on this YouTube channel, has it, Lanny? No, not the first, not the second, probably not the third. This could be uh, it's either the third or fourth time we're talking about Kenview stock, guys. Ticker symbol is KVUE. This now might be the final chapter. Just when you got Scream 1, Scream 2, Scream 3, they keep coming back for more, guys. And that's how Kenview just keeps opening the door for more. It's like the one where the actors come back five years later and they're like, let's just get one final paycheck. Let's just do it. It'll, it That's might not be pretty, but we got one more chapter left. <laughs> one more. It's the Terminator. Um, so Kenview, pretty famous split off. The most confusing transaction in the world. Johnson & Johnson shareholders had the yeah. option to exchange Johnson & Johnson shares for Kenview shares. But the big, big, big caveat was that you were going to get Kenview shares at 7%. That was the big selling, a 7% discount. So for every $100, it was $107 of Kenview. That was the big selling point. But it kind of turned into chaos because Kenview was oversubscribed. So just because you said you wanted to exchange Johnson Johnson shares doesn't mean you actually got them. And it was very chaotic. Twitter was very funny to watch. And our YouTube comments were interesting to see how many people actually got the Kenview shares they wanted, how many people got none of the Kenview shares, or how many people got a fraction of them. It was it was what on earth happened. It was, it was wild seeing people that actually were in on the IPL back in an earlier part of this year who have owned the Kenview stock before the split off, you know, officially over the weekend of August, call it August 18th to the 22nd. So it was very interesting to see guys and for those that don't know johnson and johnson j and j split <laughs> split part of their consumer health brand division off to a separate entity called kenview ticker symbol kvu kvue and then as part of that deal um to do this spinoff slash split off slash face off nick cage john travolta watch it you dig um they offered on to vote by, I think it was the end of the night on August 18th, heading into that weekend that you could have transferred some of your J&J &J shares partially for some Kenview shares at a 7% discount. Now, you could have owned Kenview when they went IPO, I believe, during the springtime, early summer, late spring this year of 2023. Um, but then you had another opportunity to, as a J&J &J shareholder, to move some of your shares to Kenview at a 7% discount. Now, Bert, what was the stock price of Kenview stock just before the weekend of the 19th, 20th? So it was 2287. <laughs> so it was hanging in there. The price on the 22nd, 2290. Uh, or on the 21st, I should say 2290. So it wasn't it hang tight. The price was right around there. Then the price started jumping up. The peak price that it hit was 2374. So it jumped up 3.67%. And that was the high. That was the high. That's all I'm going to say. Because, Lanny, what is that price today? Man, typically after an IPO or something like this, there's a big run up in price. Quote unquote, this wasn't like a huge run up, but just go look at uh, Arms IPO. Because <laughs> uh, then there's a massive sell off because, hey, we've captured the 7% discount. We got our shares sell the shares, capture the gain, done. Uh, so now today you could buy their stock as of September 28th for $20 and 11 cents or 15% down since that August 22nd date where it was at 
$23.74. But even comparing the price now to the price way back on the 18th before the split off occurred, you're still down 12% from that standpoint. So did the 7% discount for those that still held Kenview, are you happy with it? Did it make sense? Um, I think I know we're not magic eight ballers here because hey if we were we'd be owning islands and being one of the you know largest billionaires out there but i think we were all thinking bert and i we were talking about hey more than likely with the rest of this market this stock price should come tremendously down and there's a chance that it could happen and for the better part of the last few weeks it has been in that very low price territory yeah, because what's happened, the S&P 500's come down, the worries of recession, longer periods of higher interest rates. We all know what's happened. The entire market has been dragged down, and Kenview has been hit particularly hard by that, too. So they're hanging in there around $20 per share. They are well below that price. And it is, does beg the question of, like, what point does the discount matter? Could you have just waited instead when the price was, instead of taking the Johnson Johnson Fort at 2287 and bought it at a larger discount today. I think that's the thing while also holding that Johnson & Johnson position. So I think that's the interesting caveat here and the weird part of this face-off, split-off transaction. Now, you know, maybe you did it because you really wanted the Kenview stock and you didn't have cash or capital. So this was like a you know, cashless transaction, you know, taxless transaction, I think is what they also framed it as. Yeah. So I understand there are some benefits there to owning you know band-aid tylenol neutrogena avino if you really wanted that branded portfolio you know the list goes on as bird knows listerine rogaine um clean and clear lubriderm nicorette you know just to keep name dropping here guys um so there is you know i you can understand it from that standpoint but those that have been buying kenview or that like had cash on the sidelines um and didn't really need to split off their shares from J and J for it. You know, let us know right now in the comments how you feel. And if you're continuing to buy Kenview stock as they approach this four percent yield threshold, yeah. And the metrics don't look bad right now if you keep buying. To your point, their yields at three point nine eight percent. Their PE ratio at the price of twenty eleven, with the report information we have publicly available, is fifteen fifty nine. So it's not bad. Their annual payout ratio is what, Lanny? It's, oh. it's not one percent. No, I'm kidding. What? It, why don't you share it with everyone? So yeah. So the dividend payout ratio, obviously, you know, I'll say you don't have a lot of data to go off of, um, but using just an EPS projection that we had on Yahoo for 2023, it's a dollar twenty nine, and they pay eighty cents or twenty cents a quarter, eighty cents a year. Payout ratio is sixty two percent, so they're kind of right at that ceiling of the sweet spot of 40 to 60%, you know, historically that, you know, it should be fine. You might not see a lot of growth early out the gate, especially as they try to, you know, find out who they are as a company. Um, but they do rock a 4% yield with a 60, call it a 60% payout ratio. They're profitable. They're still growing their earnings. They're still growing that when they were in Johnson and Johnson, you can see that in the J and J financial so there's no reason to doubt that there won't be some form of dividend history. The question is, though, what do you think about all of this? I think that's the million dollar question. I and I don't know. It's not as if we're happy that this is happening. It's just funny to look back on this over a month later and see where Kennedy stands after a lot of the hype that came with the transaction. Yeah, I mean, my, my personal thought is, is, hey, great branded portfolio again some strong staples in there approaching the 4% yield $20 a share. If you really wanted it now, maybe you didn't get it during the split off. Now could be a great time to buy this stock. Yeah, I agree. That does. That's what I was saying. We're, we're excited. And the lower it gets, the more appetizing it becomes for many people. And that's, that's great to keep buying those income producing assets in those companies that you want. Well, what do you guys think? Do you guys think Kenview is going to be a great company? You think it's gonna it's going to be a well-run business? Do you see growth in their future, or do you see more people buying generics? Uh, I'm sure Kenview somehow has their hand in some of those generics that you just don't even know. But um, 
<laughs> as many companies do. But yeah, let us know your feedback on Kenview stock, your feedback, not just on how it's priced today, but how you felt during the split off, what you did and what you're looking at now. And even since they IPO technically, let us let us know in those comments. Don't subscribe. Please do so. That would, we would very much appreciate it. Help us get to 20,000 subscribers. And make sure you like this video too. Any help you can give us would be greatly appreciated. Everyone. Yeah, guys, keep saving, keep investing. You know, we appreciate you guys rocking with us here on this channel. Again, we're going to get back into some of the purchase videos. If you haven't watched Saturday's video, because Bert has acquired a ton of shares of realty income. Um, you know, he's been way more active than I have. I got to get back in the driver's seat to drive my dividend income up. Um, but we will come out with some purchase videos that I know you guys have been looking for. So just hang with us. We're getting through a list of topics um, and stocks that have been on the list. Um, but yeah, subscribe, like the video. Man, bro, there's one thing I think I'm forgetting though, right? I don't know what it is. I could. I have no idea. Well, let me tell you something, brother. You're either with us or you're against us. Jack, that was Bert, the Hurt, and Lanny from the DD over and out.